Good evening. And it's just some more real talk with Jude. Like I said, anything can happen on this show. Like I said, I may break out in prayer, and I want to right now. And I'll close my eyes, and you close your eyes too, and let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for moving in a mighty way in our nation of the United States. And God, help the nation of Israel right now. Protect themselves, God how they had to fire back against Hamas. And God, I also pray for our people that are involved in this, God. We just want peace on this earth, dear Lord. But sometimes others don't want peace. They want to bring destruction. And God, those people that want to bring destruction, I ask that you bring them down in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bring them down. Take them down, God. And let them be found out. The ones that are doing evil. To cause evil on this great earth. And God, I just thank you and I just praise you. In your mighty name, amen. So, so much again is happening. What can you do? As an American, we always have to be ready. We can't just sit back and wait for something to happen. We have to be proactive. What just happened in Israel could happen in America because of the way the Biden administration let China spy on our nation. You've got to be kidding me if those balloons that went across our nation were not spy balloons. Yes, they were. America has sold out to China and other countries. What is happening is the money that is going out through Washington to these countries is coming back right to the evil politicians. Yes, I call them evil politicians because they don't give a rat's ass about the American people. They could care if we eat. They could care if we have gas. They could care anything about you. Now we have had presidents in the past, and I will mention two. Ronald Reagan, for one, gave a shit about this nation. He really did. And Donald Trump gave a crap about this nation. Everybody came against those two. They came against Reaganomics, which was the greatest plan for our country. They came against everything Trump did. Trump was doing great things for our nation. And he was moving it forward. But people did not want us to move forward. And I always say this. If Hillary would have became president, we would be a third world country now. Because Hillary wanted to bring socialism. Hillary wanted to bring communism. If you look at the history of Hillary Clinton and what she stood for, go look who she studied under. Excuse me. I did go a little bit too fast. But real Jew can also make mistakes and he doesn't edit things he just rolls right through it because this is a real show and that's the way I want it to be real America is amazing America is the greatest place on earth America was made for me and you I remember that old song America was made for me and you well, let's just make up another one. Let's have a little fun. America was made for me and you. America was made to be true. America was made for our children. America That would go 
but I love just having some fun every once in a while. All serious, you know, all seriousness, America, again, is the greatest country that has ever been known. And the way America goes, so goes the world, as we see right now. America is weak, and we see what's happening right now. We are being overrun by bad people. The bad people will be taken care of by God. And I always say that. I'm not perfect, but I am a good person. And I am a good man. And I am one of the men of the hours. And whatever God wants to do with me, he can. And whatever God wants to do with you, he can. There are things on the horizon that we cannot see. God sees all things, though. And God loves us all. Again, things could have been stopped if we would have not given evil people money. We know what the Biden administration did. The Biden administration took a lot of money from a lot of people. Yes. And they funneled it back to themselves. The Ukrainian people right now are not getting what they are supposed to be getting. There are many people that are having to help because the Ukrainian people are not getting what they're supposed to be getting. America is not the America that I grew up in. America is now a nation that I don't recognize. I remember when children of all color could go outside and they could play together. But now, it's not like that. That is what has happened. We have let the government divide us. And it's time to come back together as one. Forget what's on the outside and look what's on the inside. Like my father said, we all bleed red. Yes. And I was one of the authors of We All Bleed Red. But somebody stole it from me. That's okay. Because God doesn't like that. But people have to steal in order to be great. Well, I don't have to steal in order to be great. I just work hard and keep working hard. I go through things too. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for my house. How I'm going to pay for my car. Because my car broke down, which was my means of money. Because of what I went through last year, and I took it in stride, the left tried to take me out. But I'm here, and I'm accounted for, and I'm a patriot, and I will fight for what is right in this country. And my saying is, we will unite to fight for freedom. And all those who are evil and trying to stop us, they can't. When God is on your side, he's there with you. God did not bring destruction, but God allows things to happen to wake people up. Is this a wake up for Israel? Is this a wake up? for the Middle East. And truly, are we in the last days? Nobody knows, but God knows. And as I end my 10 minutes that they only give me, I will say, God bless America. God bless our troops. And God bless our world. I love you.